Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X Research and Professional Physicist. And today I'd like to bring to you another one of my articles. This one's entitled Planet X, Asteroid Develops Comet Tail and Alien Ring Makers. Now, there have been some reports that a known asteroid has developed a comet tail and that this was due to a collision. Asteroids are irregular pieces of rock and there is a region in the solar system called the asteroid belt which lies between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter where a lot of these objects are found. This particular asteroid has been reported to be one of these. And here you see an image of that asteroid. It's 2.5 2.5 miles wide. And now Planet X objects come into the solar system as comets. They develop comet tails because they draw material which fills the solar system and which is derived from the sun's solar wind. The solar system material gathers into nebula clouds according to the gravitational energy of the ions which are ejected by the sun so that the gravitational potential of ions decreases with distance from the sun and gravitational potential of electrons increases. Planet X objects are very low in gravitational energy and thus attract this material and in this way absorb energy from the solar system. In addition, Planet X objects are dead planets and stars, which because of their low gravitational energy lost gravitational influence over their outer layers, which thus exploded outwards and became a debris field around the now dead core of the once living celestial objects. So Planet X system objects come into the solar system with huge clouds of debris. By drawing material from the sun, they become re-energized and eventually settle down as newly acquired solar system objects. The dead stars that go to the sun end up as gas giant planets, and the dead planetary and moon cores which go to the Earth end up as Earth moons. And you may look at articles 532, 523, and 526 for more details. And this diagram illustrates how the energy changes with distance from the sun. So ions decrease in energy and the electrons increase as we move outwards from the sun. So uh, as we move outwards, the energy, the potential energy, the gravitational energy and mass of ions decreases, but the energy of electrons, which are negatively charged, increases. You may look at Article 336 entitled Stellar Nebula Cloud Structure for more details. And this diagram illustrates what happens to the living, the living celestial objects which became Planet X objects. They were once a living celestial objects with a living core and material which made up its outer layers. And then the object lost gravitational energy which is light or photon energy inside its particles. And the gravitational influence of an object is dependent on this energy. So when it was lost, the object lost gravitational influence over its own matter. And the matter which was under extreme pressure now suddenly lost the force that was keeping it under pressure. So it exploded outwards. It broke into pieces and it became a debris field. Thus, all irregularly shaped rocks in the solar system are debris from the Planet X system objects, which have been invading the solar system for thousands of years. Once the objects become re-energized, they leave a lot of debris behind in the atmosphere of the object which re-energized them, and also leave a lot of debris behind the solar system a lot of which seems to have gathered in the asteroid belt thousands of years ago. The object also the object also seem to keep some of the debris with them, which is why all the gas giants have debris fields in the form of rings, with Saturn having the largest debris field, which makes up the famous rings of Saturn. There is also some evidence that a certain group of aliens has been tasked with keeping the debris pieces in Saturn's rings in an orderly form, as well as the rings of other gas giant planets that also have rings. And he 
across some screenshots from a YouTube video by Awakening the Illusion from August 22, 2016, entitled Giant UFOs are proliferating in Saturn's rings, says NASA scientists, exhaust emanating from UFO. And you can see what these ships seem to look like, and there seems to be a photograph of one there. And this was reported by, um, well, the, the video reported on what Dr. Norman Bergen, a mechanical engineer at NASA, had said regarding these ring-making aliens. Now, some of the Planet X debris pieces keep orbiting the Sun in elliptical orbits and develop tails each time they come closer to the Sun because their gravitational energy is low in comparison with the region in the solar system through which they are moving. And you may look at Article 558 entitled Astronomical Quantum Mechanics, Gravitational Potential, and Orbitals for more details. However, asteroids in circular or near-circular orbits will have a gravitational energy equal to the orbital or energy level which they occupy in the solar system and thus do not form comet tails. So if a comet has developed one, it can only be that its orbit was perturbed by another object. It is also possible that there was a collision and the asteroid broke into smaller pieces with the smaller pieces forming a debris field and following a larger piece. However, the observed comet tail is not because of any debris tail. It is because the asteroid and any pieces of asteroid accompanying it is drawing material from the sun's nebula clouds due to it now being in an environment of higher gravitational potential than its particles. Debris due to an impact will not emit light, but the material being drawn from the sun's nebula clouds emits light due to electrons and ions combining and excess energy being given off as photons. The object will thus have moved into a region in the solar system of a higher gravitational potential, which would mean that it is moving toward the inner solar system and thus toward Earth's orbit. The debris which is coming into the Earth's atmosphere is so low in gravitational potential that it remains suspended in the atmosphere, and if it does manage to get to the ground, it is likely to gently settle on the ground. And you may look at Article 548 entitled Planet X and the Alien Floating Cities in the Sky. However, debris pieces that have been in the solar system for perhaps thousands of years, such as the pieces in the asteroid belt, have a lot more gravitational energy and if perturbed and sent in the direction of Earth, can impact the surface at high velocity. Thus, this large asteroid, which has developed a common tail, is one of these objects that can impact the surface of the Earth and cause a cataclysmic event. And this is illustrated by this image here. So in conclusion, an asteroid which has developed a comet tail has most likely done so because its orbit was perturbed by another object, which has made its orbit elliptical, causing it to start drawing material and thus energy from the sun's nebula clouds, and suggests that the object is moving toward the inner solar system. And these are the references. This is Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X physicist. Thank you for watching.